Hey guys, what's up my awesome YouTube family? Okay, um, I wanted to make this video to share with you because I feel like one of the positive things about YouTube is realizing that no matter what you go through, what you experience, what horrible things you've been through, you're not the only one who's been through it. And I feel like that's one of the great strengths about YouTube is realizing that no matter what happens to you, you're never alone in what you're going through. Someone else has been there or will be going there or knows someone who's been there and they can be a great source of support for you. Now, um, what I'm going to share with you today is not horrible or tragic or awful or like <laughs> life ending, life changing, nothing like that at all. Um, but I wanted to share with you anyway in case somebody else out there may go through the same thing or maybe has been through this and maybe you can just offer some just some support if I'm after right now. Um, it's nothing, nothing horrible, nothing extreme. It's very mundane, very small, but to me it was to me, it's awful. To me, it's it's terrible. So, hey, I'm gonna get a drink. I have a big liter of water here, so hey, I'm gonna get a drink. But I wanted to tell you about what happened. Um, I had noticed a slight decrease in my ability to hear people. Especially if I'm in a room with a lot of people, if I'm in a room with more than like five or seven, five to seven people, and they're and at least three of them are talking to each other, I have a hard time hearing what what, what the person talking to me is saying compared to the other conversations happening in the room. So I went to my doctor and I said I'm having I noticed a, a decrease in my ability to hear and understand people in certain noisy loud situations, even when it's quiet around, sometimes it's still hard for me to hear. So she scheduled a hearing test for me to have done. That test happened on, oh good grief, what was that? <laughs> um, I not say it, I don't know what that was. Um, let's see. That was on Thursday, which I think was April 25th. Thursday, April 25th, when I had the hearing test. And I went in, the lady I, I worked with was very, very nice. She explained everything that was going to happen. She asked me a bunch of questions. I filled out the, the form, you know, the standard form you had to fill out. And she walked me through everything that was going to happen. I love, when, I love when people take the time to do that. So we did a hearing test, and when it was done, she came back and she took the stuff off me I had on me for the hearing test, and she, she, I figured what, what would happen is they would send the results to my doctor, who would go over them with me, <coughs> but they went over the results with me right then at the time. She said, let's go over here and sit down, she, she said, this is rare, she showed me like, like a graph type of chart. And she said, this is where your journey should be for where you're at, with your age and your medical conditions. This is where your journey should be, up here. Your hearing is down here, and, and, and it's decreasing like that. She said, your hearing is definitely below average. Your hearing loss is permanent. It's not coming back. It may get worse. And we recommend you get hearing aids in both ears. Now, that may seem a very mundane, no big deal. Thing for people. But for me, at the time, in the moment, it was devastating. Because I expected it to be told, well, your hearing is below normal. Your hearing is below average. You know, your hearing is not up where it should be, but you're not that far off. Because I can still hear relatively well and, and understand what someone's saying when they're talking to me in most situations. And so, to find out that my hearing was that far below what it should be, and not only that, but it was going down, down spiral. It was like, 
I'm not gonna lie, it was it was it was devastating for me in the moment because I didn't think my hearing was that bad. Okay, I know my hearing's not that great, but I didn't think that the word hearing aids would be brought up in the conversation. Um, but they're they're, they're I'm gonna I have an appointment with my doctor with my doctor next week. And I'm gonna show her the results they gave me and let her know what's happening and then I will talk to my insurance and see what they cover and don't cover as far as hearing aids are concerned. I have to be honest and I may be wrong in this assumption and this in this way of thinking, but I don't want to get hearing aids right away. Because I feel like and I may be wrong, but I keep I keep thinking about my glasses, you know what I mean? I've had glasses since I've been in grade school, like second, third grade. I've had glasses for a long time. And I've heard that your eyes become dependent upon the glasses and therefore they kind of get worse over time. Now, it may be wrong. That's just what I've heard and gleaned from things I've read. And I don't want, I don't want my hearing to, I know it's, it's, it's going to gradually get worse, I get that, but I don't want to get hearing aids too early. I don't want to become dependent on artificial things for my hearing. I already am for my, my sight my vision. I already am dependent upon these glasses. I've been wearing glasses I was in, 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 you know, grade school, so I'm, I'm already dependent upon these to see, but at least I can't, I can see but not clearly, everything's super boring. I don't want to become dependent on hearing aids at this age of my life. Okay? I'm 48 freaking years old. Okay? <laughs> and I did not expect to, to have the hearing aid discussion at this stage in my life. I'm like, come on. Come on, ears. Come on, Harry. Wait till I'm 60 or something, please. But this is where I'm at. And again, to some of you, it may seem like no big deal, mundane thing. So we have to get hearing aids. No one, you know, big deal. But for me to hear that at my age was really difficult for me. And it was hard for me in a way to accept that this is where I'm at. My hearing, I've, I've suffered hearing loss. It is permanent. It's not coming back. My hearing may get worse over time. And it's already bad enough that they feel like hearing aids would be a big help for me. So, I want to ask you guys, I, can't, uh, I hate when you get random issues in certain places. I want to ask you guys, first of all, have you been through this? Um, what was it like for you if you've been diagnosed with this kind of thing? You know, you've been told to death. What was that like for you? How old were you when you first had that discussion with your doctor about hearing? What was it like for you? Was it hard for you to accept that? Um, and I've been told hearing aids are not comfortable. They're, uh, my, my dad has had so many problems with his hearing aids over, over, over many years. And so, I know they're not comfortable. It's going to be a huge adjustment, and I'm just not ready to jump into that yet. I realize, yes, they will help me. They'll help me be able to hear better and distinguish voices better, and I understand the advantages are there. But I want to know, if you've been through this, what was it like for you? If you have been told you have hearing loss, you may have to have hearing aids. What was that like for you? Was that like, oh, no big deal, you know? Or was it something that was like, really? Already? <laughs> so, <laughs> let me know what, what your experience has been and is with with this whole thing about hearing loss and ha getting it recommended for hearing aids and, and just any support you want to give me. <laughs> Again, this is a tiny little mundane problem compared to all the horrible things in the world. But for me, I got in the car and I just started bawling. I started crying. I thought, why? <sighs> Sorry. I was like, why now? I'm 48 years old. I'm 55, 60. I understand. I have it. It's not like I, 
I'm in a very quiet environment. I'm in my apartment most of the time. And I don't play music very loud. I don't play stuff on Netflix or YouTube very loud. I don't wear headphones on my ears all the time. I have music blasting in my ears. I, I avoid, like, concerts and ball games because of the noise level. I've been so, I've been, like, per, so protective in a way of my hearing by not getting in loud, noisy situations. And so this was hard for me. I'm being honest with you guys. I'm, I'm opening up my personal life to you a little bit and saying, this is hard. So I want to know your advice, your opinions, your any support, encouragement, encouragement you want to give me. Again, I know this is a mundane thing, but for me, it is not. And so, um, I appreciate any advice you want to give me. A uh, brand of hearing aids you recommend. Um, you know, what's the for in a hearing aid, hearing doctor? Um, you know that that kind of thing. Um, anything you want to tell me about this whole thing? Because I am brand new to this whole thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and go and get this uploaded. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.